Welcome to another Let's Play. This is MBW Champion. We're playing the Wind Waker HD, and we just got the grappling hook from the the uh, s blah, blah, first level, and we're basically gonna learn how to use it. And uh, hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's easy, man. Hopefully it's easy because this is what the hell just happened here. Okay, apparently it's used differently from how you do it on the GameCube. Oh, get the. That's weird. So basically, you have to do your gamepad to uh, do the grappling hook. That's interesting. <laughs> interesting to say the least. I wonder if you guys. I wonder if you could play this with like the the Wii Mote. I actually think that would be like a really fun way to play in this game with the Wii Mote. Get it. Let's get a little bit straighter on that one. Awesome, awesome. All right, so uh, yeah, so last episode we we basically did a lot of uh, everything that we need to do on level one. So now that we have the island, we can basically like. Uh, you know, just continue getting the rest of the stuff in this area and then basically get into the... getting to the boss and he's... the boss that's basically tethering on that guy's tail. Poor guy. Will you get off my bridge? Thank you! Fuck you! You son of a bitch! I always knock them off. So funny. I think there was like a thing that came down here. Oh shit, did I do that? Oh, okay, I can land on the bottom, okay. Oh fuck! What the hell? How come I didn't do that earlier? All of a sudden it just like... Like it was just staying there still for a little bit. It was uh, a little bit creepy. Well anyways, we're playing hero mode also, so just so you know, this half a heart, I'm not going to be able to revive it, so I'm going to die pretty soon. <laughs> But hopefully, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not gonna die. Maybe I'm actually just gonna do it. How about that? Oh shit! Well, right when I said that, it looks like I died. Game over. Yeah, let's save. Okay, let's continue. Ow, you son of a bitch! Okay, I don't want to go there. But I do want to go here! Okay. So that was pretty funny. Right when I was uh, mentioning hero mode and such and such. Um, if you guys don't know what hero mode is, by the way. Uh, what that is, is basically um, anytime you get hit with, uh, uh, with any damage, it actually takes double the damage. Plus, there's no hearts to regenerate your uh, your health um, in the game. So basically, like uh, they're usually in pots and grass and such. They're not found anywhere on there anymore. However, you could still get fairies. You could still um, get. Well, I think you could get fairies. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure if you can get fairies. But um, you could still get like uh, magic potions and stuff like that. So.
Okay, excellent. Um, so you can still get ma magic potions, so you can refill your life that way, but as for hearts, like finding them in the dungeons and stuff, that does not happen. Okay, let's make sure it's staying still. And then do God damn it! Because I know you're supposed to do that, like basically like just do it all at once. But apparently I'm not standing in the middle like where I'm supposed to. Okay, looks like I'm in the middle now. Okay, perfect! That's what I was trying to do the entire time. So basically it was like the same place where I died la um, the last time. <laughs> Oh my god, that was hilarious. Anyway, let's complete this level and see what's what's in store. Okay, that looks like an evil entrance of some layer and magnitude and such and such and such and such. Fuck! Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Thank you. Thank you, birds. I mean, birds. Thank you, Keese. Uh, you know, here's a fun fact. I actually, um, when I was first playing this game, I didn't know that you could uh, turn yourself at all in this game. So, like, say, for example, when you stop all the way, you can actually turn. And that's actually how you get over here. So, I actually was stuck on this part of the game when I first had it on the GameCube um, for about I want to say it was uh, I want to say like two hours before I figured out that you can actually change your your direction so I was stuck in this level I was going back to every room trying to look for secrets because I couldn't figure out how to jump all the way over there um, because I didn't know that when you stop you can actually change direction of your of like where you're pointing so when you swing you can actually like just you know do that so that was very interesting um, you know what now that I'm thinking about it I actually think I did pass it but then the second time you do Nico's uh, thing on the pirate ship I think that's where I figured out how you how you do it Go ahead and slice him. Okay. So what you could do right here is when you... Damn it! I'm trying to place him. Okay, place. There we go. Uh, because the reason why you want to place him is because when you... Uh, when he... Um, if you just press the switch down, right when you jump off the switch, it's still on fire. So basically you have to put that bad guy on it so that you can get that fire right there. Watch. You'll see when he jumps off of it. See how the the thing went up? However, the fire should have went back on, but since I already got the item, that's why the fire wasn't there anymore. <laughs> I can't hit him because I'm near a wall. <laughs> Alright, so now I can go to the to the boss because I have the the boss key. Three cheers for the boss key! Alright. You know what, because I think I aimed it like where... You can sort of still get over there, like if you... And how did I do it? I think I like angled it where like I was able to like make it hit hit the wall with the so with the sword and then I was able to uh to do it, I believe. All right.
Ooh, a dragon on the wall. I'm trying to see like an easy way to get back over there, but I think you have to go this way. What? What? Hot? Hot? I almost made it through this level without dying once. But I had to, like when I was doing the rope cutting, god damn it, I just like, was horrible at it, and I'm ashamed of myself, and, and nobody should call me a Zelda fan ever again, because that was so horrible. Damn you guys. Shit, I have like... Half a heart left because of that. Because they put me on fire. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Damn it! Oh, that's why. Fuck. Keep on pressing the. The wrong button. <laughs> you know what? Let me look at the map really quick. Did I miss any, like, treasures or anything? Actually, it looks like there's a treasure that I didn't get right there. Whoops. Whoopsie. No, you can't see the screen right now. And then there's another treasure. God damn it. Oh, but the treasures right here are, like, basically you just get them right away. I actually want to see what the other treasure chest is before I, uh venture off to the to this boss battle because I know like once you beat the bass the boss you're it's gonna like take you all the way out so then you have to go all the way back to the level so might as well get it now before you know before we venture to the boss because we couldn't get this one because we needed um, the grappling hook so that's why we couldn't get this uh, treasure chest but now that we have it we can see what's in here. It's probably gonna be something stupid. It's probably gonna be like, a rupee! <laughs> okay, cool. That's, that's not stupid. That's a freaking good item. I approve. Thank you, folks. Hey, why was that thing like telling me A? Oh, maybe yeah, to do that sword technique, I forgot. I thought like the that lions guy was or the king of lions was talking to me again. I'm like, what boy, what the funk you want? Get in before they jump and get you. All right, so one more. All right, excellent. So, okay. Ignore him, ignore him. Get get your treasure, get your treasure. A king's bracelet. A yellow ruby. And a joy pendant. I likey likey. No! I wanted to catch you in a bottle. I can catch you in a bottle. Okay, wait. Let's uh put the bottle in our X button and uh try to catch it. Heal! And it's a crying little, little fairy. Okay. Okay, let's change the, the buttons just so that I don't accidentally use the fairy. But awesome! So now I have a fairy in a bottle. Fairy in a bottle, baby. He's gonna feel me the right way. 
Okay, let's see if we can do this boss without getting hit. Because I'm feeling lucky. <clears throat> dun 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 dun! You look scary, don't you? Ah, oh, fuck you! Okay, so he swings his things. Oh, okay, so that's okay. I, I remember what to do now. Fuck! Holy shit! Okay, let's do that again. Cause obviously this that was definitely working. Come on, tail. Come on, tail. Go, go, go. And then slam. Oh fuck. Ah, fuck you. Oh, okay, so you have to deal with the grappling hook. I'm not used to the controls with the grappling hook yet. But there we go! We beat him! And, uh, I told you guys I was gonna do it without getting hit. You guys saw nothing, and you guys saw me do it without getting hit. I am so amazing, aren't I? No? No? Okay. Fine! Whatever. Explosion! Heart piece! Link is excited. I love, uh, I love how Link is in this game, like, it's just, like, so hilarious to me, and... So great. It's the winds of change over there. dun 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 What? What? What's going on? What's go- Whoa! Psychedelic. So it looks like the dragon is no longer angry because his tail's not getting, uh, pulled on and such. And the dragon's yelling out, Everything's a-okay! <laughs> oh! Link! Hey, look, a bottle over there. I heard everything from Midley. Well, you better be, because you were a dick earlier.
Da -da 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 -da. Dead pearl. I think the dragon's mad that you gave the, your pearl away. I think he just like, like uh, cussed me out in in Hyrulean. Okay, so we want to go over there to the Wind Shrine. You really are a hero. Thank you so much, Link. Ha 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 ha. The hell, wasn't there just a bottle right there? No? <laughs> okay. I was gonna go get the bottle, but okay. Hey, there's another bottle right here, though. Uh, that one says... It's from Jake, and he says... I am a laugh-out-loud muffin. Uh, cool, Jake! You laugh-out-loud muffin, you? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's get our Wind Waker out. And go... Wasn't I just doing that? Oh, what the hell? Maybe I just wasn't standing next to it. La la. Link, he's learned the wins. I love that effect. Ooh, that's a mighty nice breeze! <laughs> the name's... <laughs> Zephros! I'm the god of winds! So you're the new Wind Waker, are you? Great, great! For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid! That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the direct direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing, or it could be a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. <laughs> it saddens me to say my brother Cyclops is myth about his monument here is being broken, and while well, he spends his time creating Cyclops. To torment people with. So if you ever encounter a cyclones in the sea, that's uh, that's uh, my brother for me, will you? Uh, and that's my request for you. <laughs> what a crazy sob! Crazy, crazy sob! <laughs> Silly little, like, uh, whatever that thing is, the, uh, crab! Crabs! There's no time to, new to lose! We must depart at once to the place where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south! And south we shall go. Except I can't get in you. Why can't I get in you? Oh, I can't do it while I'm on you? God damn you. Alright. Alright, so now that I changed the direction of wind, now we could uh, basically say, which way do we want to go? Why can't you just point down and it go down? The fuck? You just have to press left or right. Why can't you just press down and it go down? It's a little odd. But okay, whatever. I don't question. I just do. Alright. I know that there's a fish that's supposed to come out, right? I'm trying to remember if, it, if it's now or if it's... Because I really want to get that fish. 
There it is. Oi, oi there, hold it there, small fry. I love this fish. Because I want to get all the fr um, fish on every single one of the places so I could, uh, you know, get the sea charts. <laughs> small fry! I like how he calls you small fry. It's like, what in the world? Like, what are you, by the way? Is that supposed to be like a Zora slash fish? Awesome, awesome, awesome! Okay, there's a real peculiar cave toward the backside of Dragon Roast Island. Hmm. So all these fish give you like pointers too, so basically like each time you talk to a, a fish they tell you something about the, um, they're kind of like the gossip stones of like Ocarina of Time, so that's, that's what they do. <laughs> you kingly red li lion guy, that's it. I repaid my debt, I'm done, you take care of the rest. Your debt? Wait, so who is he supposed to be? That's weird. Anyways, I got another bottle, so basically I want to see, uh... Nah, whatever. Um, it says, uh, look at this handsome fella right here. It must be quite the ladies' man. It has, like, Link being a, like, a, a cr cross-eyed and stuff. Anyways, thank you for watching another Let's Play. This is MBW Champion. And next time, we sail off to that island in the horizon over there. What shall it be? Well, we'll find out next time. Thank you for watching.